Hey there. I'm going to show you how to use your Osmo a little bit more in depth and on a rock. So I have an image selected. Which I will show you momentarily. But first, you need to make sure that your camera is facing here. And to do that, there's this little icon up here. And if you click it, you can either see what's in front of you, which right now is just this, or you can flip your camera and see what's on the front camera based on this little Osmo device, the mirror. One thing I didn't show you all the other day is how to change your, your holds here. If you see how I'm moving it, it's flipping the, the camera around, so that'll mess up your distortion. I usually put them both in the middle, and then I say I'm good to go. This is the picture I'm going to draw. You can see my rock down here, and I'm going to make it about the size of my rock, so it covers it up. I'm not going to get the whole image because the rock is smaller than this picture. So from this point, you're going to go ahead and act like you're going to draw. So you click this little draw button right here in the middle. And then you want to change your translucency so that you can actually see your pencil. So I'm going to put it about there. Then it looks so tiny, I need to zoom in so that I can actually start to draw. And you can see the edge of my rock right here. And if you see down here, you can see what I'm doing as well as what's on my screen. Ivy's asleep already. I've got bad allergies, but I'm going to try and do this for you guys. It's not live because I don't know if it's going to work or not. And if it doesn't work, then I'm not going to post it. So here we go. I'm going to draw from the top down and I'm going to move this up and I'm just following the lines to the edge of my rock and the edge of my rock is right here you can kind of see it and then I'm going to draw it here and go up it doesn't have to be perfect because you add your own touches to it as you go. And then it appears that we're off the rock again. I have a dirty pee pad underneath here, so that's why it looks dirty. Okay, so we did that branch. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in and add these little pieces, which are part of the birch tree, the white marks. <laughs> Sorry for my sniffles. And you can see how I'm moving on the Osmo device. I can move the image. Now we're going to do the branch that's coming off of here. And you just trace the lines. And this will get you the image of whatever it is that you're looking at. Let me draw this leaf. Oh, I got a crack in my rock up here, so it's not just a perfect little line. But this works. I'm not going to put this leaf on here because it's at the top of my rock, so you don't really need that. Whoop, sorry have the camera way up here so that y'all can kind of see both things at the same time. And since Ivy's asleep, I don't have to worry about her wanting to hold the camera. Okay, so let's draw this branch. Go up here and you just trace your lines. They don't have to be perfect. It gives you a good starting point for you to work with. 
draw here. Let's go back up here and try and finish the branch. I'm trying to look around my camera holder. And draw a line here. This gets my branch. I know one lady had mentioned, oh, I'd like to see her try to do that on a rock. Well, I'm doing it on a rock. Of course, it's a Santorini and they are super smooth. It's almost like drawing on paper. That doesn't look good right there, so I'm gonna erase it. Uh, sorry, I had to go grab my eraser. And I'm going to continue to draw the little branch. And draw the bottom of the branch. Draw the little white birch mark. This is kind of hard to do with the camera in my face, but I'm gonna try and do the best I can just so that y'all can understand how this process works. You see I'm scrolling around on here so that I can see where I'm drawing on here, but it keeps it in perspective. So we've got his little legs. Now we're gonna try and draw his body. And just come out. And what's cool about this is any image you find on the internet, you just save it to your phone or your iPad and you can copy it. Sorry, my husband's in there watching TV, laughing at something. So now we're gonna draw his wing, copy the wing, move my Osmo so I can see what I'm doing. You just trace the lines. So this one's got some lines in here to make the tail feathers. And if you see my rock down here, you can see that it's looking pretty much like the image that's on my screen, which is super cool. <coughs> But because this is stained glass, we want to make sure and get all these lines because each piece is supposed to look like a piece of glass. Do, 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 do. So there's his face. Now let's go down here and get this other little bird. He's yellow. I don't know what kind of bird that is. It's not a cardinal, or maybe it is a cardinal. Maybe it's just a yellow cardinal. But as you can see, this gives me what I'm looking for so that I can actually paint this rock. Now I'm at the edge of my rock down here. I don't need to do any more there. So there's my little birdie. That's about all I can do on that one. There is a little bit of a spot here, so I can do this. No, I can't. That branch is too far down off my rock. <laughs> So now let's try to do this branch over here. Let's start up here and just come down. You just 
trace it like you would. Oh, I'm trying to color over here and I'm not even on my rock. So now we're gonna go up. Trace it up. And then we're gonna do the other side. And we're gonna add the birch marks, which are those little white lines that are on a birch tree. We're gonna add this branch. Add the birch line over here, which you can't really see because it's off my rock. But when I paint it, I'll know that I'm gonna paint this gray and this white. I got that line. We got this one, let's do this branch, go up, come down, and luckily it doesn't have to be perfect because when you color over this with your Micron pen, you'll be able to get what you want. Add the lines, erase the lines, make it your own. Now I did show y'all the other day how to do it with just a real quick little image just because I wanted to show y'all how cool this Osmo device is. But trying to do it at an angle is a little difficult. But I'm doing it. Okay, what do we have here? That's down there. We got that up there. Let's make it a little smaller. See what we got going on. So I've got the one tree, this other tree, part of the branch, this part of this, the image isn't showing on my rock because my rock is small. <coughs> so now we're just going to go in and fill in with some leaves. Those leaves. I'm going to come across, make a leaf here. Add a couple leaves down here. Add a leaf over here. and then make the lines to connect like it is stained glass. You don't have to add all these images in here, so that's cool. You can just do what you want. So right now, I'm just gonna kinda follow along, make some, make some lines in here to make it look like stained glass. I don't wanna put a leaf here, so I'm just gonna go across. So it'll all be blue. This in here is blue. This here is a branch. This up here has a couple of pieces to where it looks like a stained glass piece. Over here, we've got some stained glass pieces, so we're gonna add these lines so that when we paint it, it'll look like pieces of glass because like I showed you the other day, when we paint, we do the dark on the edge 
and then blend to lighter in the middle. Now let's go through and add probably another piece here. This will be connected when we do our micron pen. Up here we're going to put a leaf because we don't have any green up in here. And we kind of want to have that to add a little bit of color up here. And then we're just going to fill in with the lines. Stained glass is pretty easy to do because you just put lines. Like these leaves here, I'm not going to add them. I kind of like the blue around. This will be green. This will be green. And then in here, this will be blue and this will be blue. But I'm going to add some pieces to make it look like it's cut glass. And that's pretty much it. If you see, whoops, let me take my phone off of here. You can see my image. I got the one bird down here, the other bird up here, a couple branches, a couple leaves, and it looks like, let's fix the transparency on this one. Oh, that's terrible. I don't know why it's not letting me look at that. Ooh. Let's go to my camera. No, not my camera. My photos. And let's see how the photo looks. It's still kind of fuzzy. Anywho, there's my photo. And there's what I traced. But as you can see how I was manipulating the image in the app, Camera Lucida. Why is this so fuzzy? Let's get back. There we go. This is the app that you get on the App Store. There's the image that I had. Once you move your rock, you're not going to be able to line it up anymore. So I suggest once you have your rock set there, you keep it there so that your image can be transfer it onto there but that's it pretty cool if you have any questions about how to do this let me know and I can help you because it took some time for me to get used to playing with this app and my Osmo there's my Osmo it's all dirty from me doing alcohol inks with it sitting behind me all right, hope you enjoyed that quick little video. Thanks.